Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, and I've got a bit of a um, conundrum problem. Just going to share it with you guys. So I recently was able to purchase an SAR-1, and uh, for those of you who don't know what an SAR-1 is, it's a Romanian AK uh, imported during the ban era, so from 94, I think, to 2004. And uh, I purchased, was able to pick up one from the original owner. I think he put a couple hundred rounds in it. Basically been sitting in the gun safe forever, was able to actually trade. And uh, so this one is actually a production year of 2001. But the trigger it came with has been kind of giving me, not necessarily problems, nothing wrong with the trigger. It's actually worked. Put about 200 rounds for the AK and it's been fine. Um, it did have some trigger slap, so I had to correct that. Um, however, I did decide, I was like, hey, let me upgrade to an ALG. And so I was going to do so. However, um, it was not fitting. Uh, it would fit, but the bolt would not be able to be charged back to uh, the rear because it was hitting the ALG uh, trigger. And so at first I was thinking, okay, well, let me read a shout to Geisley, you know, who makes the ALG, and maybe they can help me out. Uh, unfortunately, they were not helpful uh they basically said hey we don't see anything wrong can't help you and i was like well let me go back into the sentry trigger and figure out what in the world's wrong or what what's different and so one of the first things if you can get on the camera here and i'll use the alg to point but you can see there's a slurration cut right here and you can even tell a little bit different on the metal let's see can you guys see yeah so you can see right there it's cut right there and on the alg it ain't so that's part of the issue my assumption is. The other thing is um, it's hitting the top of the hammer. So the hammers are definitely different. So the one on this one, uh, let me see. Here it is, the Sentry one. Uh, forgive me if this isn't in focus best. But as you can see right here, it's been filed down by Sentry. It's been filed down by me. Um, but it sits lower now. So it's hitting that. The other thing I didn't realize until... Uh, today and opening it up again is um, <clears throat> a couple of things. One is they shaved down the connector here. Uh, and as you can see, it's shaved down pretty good. So if my connector is sitting higher because it's not shaved down, then that's going to be a problem and part of the reason too. The other crazy thing Sentry did, and again, I didn't catch this till today, is look. They cut it like this. I don't know if it's coming real well through the camera real well. And you can look at this as a tragedy, or you can look at this as a com uh, comedy. You know, and I'm just going to laugh it off. And this is what Sentry did back in the day, which didn't help with their reputation. But this is a double hook trigger that has been cut to a single hook trigger. And this, I'll show you the difference, is a double hook trigger. It will only fit in a double hook uh, receiver. Um... The SAR-1 is a single hook receiver, so it's not going to fit. So they cut that down um, for whatever reason. So that was their choice to do. Um, they did a terrible job of actually cutting it down. And when I actually got... And whatever uh, material they used to kind of... Uh, it looks like they might have parkerized this, but it did a really poor job of it. I don't know what is on here, but it was starting to rust. Now, I took a brass brush... And, um, you know, cleaned it up a little bit. It looks a lot better. I may try to do a little bit of a Luma Blue on it. Um, just to try to keep this thing from rusting. I mean, it hasn't rusted in 20 years, but it's honestly just been sitting in a gun safe for 20 years too. So hopefully it's fairly climate controlled, but it was starting to build up some, uh, like, uh, spot rusting a little bit. And again, it all came off. So I'll probably clean this up a little bit more, Aluma blew it, and call it a day, and put the Sentry Arms trigger back into the SAR-1 because it's just not worth me taking the ALG and trying to modify it to to put it in there. I'll, I'll just save this ALG. Um, by the way, I was looking back in the day, my first ALG trigger I think cost me forty nine ninety nine. I was looking back. The most recent ALG trigger I bought was in late 2001. I think it was December 2001. And it cost me six, like $69.99 or $62.99, something like that, um, for an ALG trigger. And nowadays, these things are like $100, $115, $100-something. And that's just, that's just nuts. That's way too much money for 
in my opinion, a trigger. ALG is nice, but it's not a hundred plus dollars nice, and that's just kind of a shame. Um, so I'll save this for another AK um, to put it in. I'm I'm hoping to get the opportunity to uh, make another AK purchase here sooner rather than later, um, and I'll share that with you guys when I get around to it. But um, just wanted to share this kind of AK trigger experience slash woes. So some things that Sentry used to do for whatever reason um, back in the day with uh, you know their uh, gunsmithing, which again is just very odd. Look how cr I don't know if you can tell very well, probably not. But like if you can look, you can tell how crude it is cut right here. It's not even straight. It's actually at an angle. Um, you figure they could at least cut it at an angle and, uh, polish it up and they, they didn't even bother doing that. But anyway, I hope this, uh, was interesting for you guys. Again, this is a 20 year old rifle at this point, no, 21 year old rifle at this point. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much looks brand new and, uh, I'll, sh depending on how these videos get out, you'll see that, uh, before or after this video. So, um, and I'll get some magged up monday for you and shoot it out or shoot that thing out and i'm hoping to thread the barrel and maybe even uh putting a uh, new gas block on it because i'd like the bayonet lug back on there uh depending on what parts i'm able to source and how they look anyway this is the mad marine signing off wishing you all the best